respect and gratitude to this brother and I'm so glad to have him on the show this evening um it, it's just um it's a true it's a true honor and like I said if you don't know brother GKL you about to find out okay because the brother right here he has he does graphic designing he's a poet he's a writer He's a, a actor. He's a singer. I mean, I could just go on. But I'm going to let him come on and tell you. But yes, oh my goodness. He's multi, multi-talented. So um, let me see. I'm going to find him and bring him in the room. And uh, let's see here. KL on. And uh, he gonna spill some tea with the Peace twinkle. Love, what's happening? Peace and love, bro. Peace and love. What's like good? What's good? I feel, I'm feeling good. I, you know, just you know, be, you know, we patient, doing good things. About to do this all over again. You know what I mean? It's long overdue. So congratulations on order. Yeah, you know, so I'm still, mean, you know, I'm still waiting yeah. though. We gonna get into it, but yeah, I'm glad yeah. to see you finally making some some moves like that. Yeah, but you know, some I, I mean, I don't want to speak on it too hard because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. I still got to do yours. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to Katrina who came and a couple old, more people, family all up in here. You know what I mean. And shouts out to the doctor for helping me uh push that because it's very stressful for anybody putting out a book, especially if you're a professional. It's like. You're like perfectionist. You know what I'm saying? You right. keep changing it, changing it, changing it. Man, just go ahead right. and put it out there, man. Like it, I know. I know. And you know what? Like, um, you know, you can re-edit it. Like, so right. let's say you drop it, and then later on you realize something, whatever, not right or whatever. Right. You can still fix it. You know what I'm saying? I think sometimes people feel like once they put it out there, that's it, it's done. You can mm. actually revise it. Go back and yeah. fix some stuff. So if that makes yeah. you feel better. <laughs> I yeah, got to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Shout out, Poet and Serenity, man. Everybody in the room, man. It don't matter who come in because I'm going to take it and put it on YouTube anyway because that's how we spread the love. You know, we all get some of this love and publicity. And I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, this is something that I have really enjoyed doing, spilling the tea with a lot of different artists. And I've learned a lot from doing yeah. it, um, getting wisdom from people, how they think, you know. Yeah. So this doing this platform, this um, interview platform has really been a surprise and a blessing more than I even right. realized it would be. 
And I'm so glad that, you know, artists like yourself take the time to come through and spread wisdom with the people on my page or my platform. I see. Yeah. So I appreciate having you. And that, so we won't get it. that music right there. Is <laughs> so how you feel about that? The music? How you feel about that? Honestly. You all love an honest opinion. I got elephant skin. Just give it to me. Go I, ahead and tell me. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, because at first, it's, it kind of surprises you. When it first starts to play, you don't know what to expect. But then when you start dropping them jewels, yeah. man, because, like, see, that's like <sighs> the slow, I call that the slow kill. Uh, you got to think about you it. Even, you don't even know you're getting, getting, getting ready to get murdered. If people be asking, like, you know, why, why the title say why, why? I'll be like, think about it like this. When you're speaking gibberish when you're afraid, you speak gibberish when you're angry, you speak gibberish. So it's kind of like it's so messed up in the world right now. You don't even really need words on a hook. You just say whatever you feel. I call it hip hop scatting. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then you start putting the poetry on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love it. And it's just, you know, yeah. anytime um, somebody can take the art of poetry and elevate it in a way yeah. that it's not being done, that's the right. That's for us, you know what I'm saying? That helps us to say, oh, wow, you know, I didn't think I could do that. Now maybe I might do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Easy. But of course, you got to be talented enough. We always inspired it. by somebody. You know, we always inspired. You know, mine's James Earl Jones all day, every day when it comes oh, to the yeah. acting. And oh, yeah, man. all day. To narrate and speak it, that man got so much passion. Yeah. It's ridiculous, you know? You know well, what I'm saying? I, I mean, yeah, you, you've been doing your thing with the narration. Goodness. I, I appreciate that from the heart. I do. Oh my I do. goodness. Yeah, I mean, uh, you got a career in that if nothing else. If you can do voiceovers. Yeah. On I want to do it. It's just that that Holly, I call it Holly weird. You know what I'm saying? Like the Hollywood is a little funny right now. So it's like you got to do it on an independent level. But I do, I would love to work with some of these independent mm -hmm. cats coming out of college that's doing like cartoon work. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do some voiceover work with them. But anything dealing with like Hollywood and all that stuff, I'm not I'm not doing it because there's a lot of negative energy there. You know what I mean? Oh. So I like dealing with y'all like, you know. Well, because, you know, when somebody had approached me about that a little while back and that was yeah. their thing, you know. Be careful. So next time somebody asks me, you know, yeah. I'll definitely keep your name yeah. on my tongue because. Uh, since I'm ready. I'm ready whenever. People ask me to do stuff that I'm like, why didn't you nah. do I'd be like, me? You know, I'm dead serious. I'd be like, whoa, well, yeah. okay, what makes you think I can do that? <laughs> you know? Man, like, just like how you feeling, I'd be a little iffy about doing, um, I'd be wanting to, uh, clap, like, you know, erotic poetry, like, to write a story, I veer away from that out of respect for my queen. I know people be like, oh, it's just oh. business. I'd be like, Man, out of respect for my wife, man, I was like, I would not do that with nobody. You know what I'm saying? Writing poetry, I pretty much narrate that by myself. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, if I mean? write a script, then it's different. Okay. I, you know, because so, you know, it's kind of like you got to have a part of you inside of that narration when you do erotic narrator. We do an erotic story. You talking about this, that, and the fro. It's kind of almost like it gets a little too intimate. It may get intimate on another person's part. I'm keeping it professional. Well, if that person person don't, you know what I'm saying? It made me look awkward, like, you know what I mean? Oh. So I'll be careful on what I write about and who I write with. Yeah. I mean, erotica is definitely, I would say any piece, you know, you yeah, got anything. chemistry or the right yeah. person, no matter what piece you do. But, right. um, I mean, I mean, not the point of erotic out. That was just like the one, like the one that everybody just, uh, cur up. You know what I mean? Because right. think about it. I don't do stuff on spirituality or religion or politics too much, but I don't judge those that do it. I just kind of stay away from that a little bit so I can broaden my audience mm -hmm. and then kind of sneak it in there a little bit. How I do it. I want to speak the language of the people, you know what I mean? Right. So they can That's take what it. You did with that piece right there. That's why I said, you know. Yeah. You came with the one, two, because I was like, you know, I've heard you sing, but then when you combined it with the politics like you did, I was like, wow. Right. Yeah, that was that was on point. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it all the way, sis. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way. 
Well, I'm just saying we need as many voices yeah. as we can. And you know what we yeah. don't realize is as we are growing our platform, you know, we, we those are listening. Right. And we need to be enlightening them with the no, I'm saying we have a large platform. Don't just do it just to say, you know, I'm this, I'm the shit, I'm this and that. I'm right. No, use that to educate, use that to enlighten. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't just make it be about how good you look or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That type of stuff right there. I mean, now in the world that we're dealing with computers and different things like that with the phone, we become virtual teachers. Just like the kids are going to school at home or whatever, like we become virtual teachers on these lives. And I hate on people that get on there and just let their lives sit and sit on the table and you watching them cook food or just their everyday nonsense. I want to watch something that I'm gonna get something out of. You know right. what I mean? I'm not. Don't waste my time. I could be doing something else, man. Right. That's it. You know, that's me. I got um, one thing about me always, even from when I was a, a child. If I wasn't interested in something, I couldn't do it. You know what I'm right. saying? And right. a lot of times, the teachers they thought I was slow. They thought, you know, they call my mom and say, "What's wrong with your child? She don't want to do this or that or whatever." Mind you, I was already reading 12th grade level. So right. when they tested me, and it was like, you know, your child's in junior high, but she's reading high school. It's like right. it was already graduated. But because what they were doing wasn't interesting to me, right. I couldn't grasp onto it. You know what I'm saying? So I've always had to be interested. You know yeah. what I mean? It's fine tuning. You gotta be. You gotta tune. You gotta put your heart into it and your soul into that because if exactly. people can tell when you ain't serious about it. That's true. That's true. They can tell. Well, I'm so glad to have you here, and we're gonna get into this interview. Um, Come on, sir, smile. Come on now. You gotta, I want to see you smile because show me that good energy you got. There you go, right there. That's oh, what I want yeah. to see. All right. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a day. Smiles, I, 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 my energy is not where I want it to be. <laughs> I'm definitely going to come on and do this with yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Because you have been a, a good, yeah. loyal brother to me. You know, you've been looking out for me. Like I said in the intro, like before I even put the first book out, you was there. And then after I put the first book out, you were supporting the first book. So you know what I mean? Yeah. I was so like, you told me you stuff that I forgot about. Like, like. Like, but you know, people that just do stuff genuinely, and I forgot that I did it. Like, you helped me fix a tire or something, and I was like, no, I didn't. They were like, you helped me fix my house after that burned out. I was like, no, I didn't. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I don't, I don't try to remember stuff like that. I don't, you know, I did it. Okay, cool. I did yeah. my good deed. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's nice to be recognized. You know what I'm saying? Because see, then what happens yeah. is. Somebody don't acknowledge you, you be like, yeah. "Oh, I remember when they were this and this and that." And I right. Was, you know. So you but know, I appreciate you for that, though. Like, I mean, it's, it's people like you and everybody in the chat. A lot of people in the chat that remind me, like, "Bro, go get your credit." I be like, "Man, whatever. If it come and come, you know what I'm saying?" I be like, "I'm. I got to keep writing. If I stop writing, I'm gonna fall apart. I got to <laughs> keep writing. You feel me? Because that's my therapy." I know. I know. Yeah. And um, so like for me. Um, I got a lot of different projects I'm working on at this time, too, which is one of the reasons why this is probably going to be the last interview that I do for, for a while. I don't even know when I'm going to be able to get back to doing these because I got so much going on coming up right. that, you know, you got to prioritize your time, you know what I mean? But, but so I'm happy that you did, was able to do this though, because how long we've been cool? It's been what about six, seven years? Yes. Yeah. It's been a long time. I you don't even know. I mean, I remember there was times when I was like still real shaky and I would come to you and you would just give me the brutal. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, sis, look, when you get ready to do this, you spit this, this how you supposed to spit this, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, because I I'm telling you, I know I had to grow, you know. Because I asked, I say, do you want the Bill Cosby version or you want the Richard Pryor version? You be like, I want the Richard Pryor. I'm like, you need to get your shit together. Go ahead and let them hear you. Let them hear you. You only got one life to live, and tomorrow ain't promised us like two minutes from now. Give it your all. Yes. Give it your all, man. You, you Every did, time. Um, you did my first... Um, um, 
Where is this fan card? Logo. You just you oh just yeah. Made, you just went and made it and sent it to me when nobody else wasn't even thinking about you know. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. You don't even understand. You've done yeah. things. I don't forget. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. don't forget. So that's why whenever you holler at me, you know, I always make time. To, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You holler at me, I'm like, well, okay. I stop what I'm doing. What what, what, what we doing? What are we doing? Because it's, you know what I'm saying? You've done that for me. So, um, yeah, this ain't like going to be like the regular straight up interview because we know each other. I think a little bit too well, but I'm gonna ask you some questions now. Okay. Okay. But uh, I'm just saying, yeah, this is definitely a little bit, you know, like I said, um, somebody I know. So you know, it's not the same. Um, so we're gonna get into this interview. And first question is gonna be, how long have you been performing, singing, writing, and everything? You know. That you do. Well, you know, South South, you know what I'm saying? To T with Tina and the Positive Place and Katrina McCain, Poet of Serene, because they all do, y'all all do the same thing, but in a different, beautiful way. And I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to tell you what I told them. Nine years old, off the rip, like writing something, but didn't know you was writing it. But mm -hmm. at the same time, it's been different. It keeps changing every single time. That's good. I mean, you could tell you've been doing it for a long time. Nine is like, yeah, yeah. That's why I it's say trial and error. So it's just trial and error, man. Yeah. yeah, but you you used to model too, right? Yeah, I I, I try to put my hand That's in every whichever one, <laughs> whichever yeah. one land. I'm in there. You understand what I'm I saying? Know. Like <laughs> it's like I'm you, in there. You got like twenty jobs, <laughs> like man. That. Use every part of your body, not like no, yeah. you know, uh, if y'all know the word with a co-cot mean, a co-cot oh, is a classy yeah. way for a street walker. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just use every part of your body sure? to manifest what you That's need. That's what I'm trying to say. When I say yeah. multi-talented, I'm not playing. Like, whatever lane you could fit in, yeah. you done tried to get in that lane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's for real. Well, ask um, yourself, instead of letting the world pimp you, you pimp your own time instead of pimping yourself in a negative way. I pimp myself in a positive way, which means use every form of my ability, mind, body, and soul to project something for somebody else. Use everything I got in me to help somebody else and to get somewhere. And don't just stick to one talent. I know they say one punch study will be your best punch instead of a bunch of fighting styles, but I'd rather have many fighting styles than one that means I would adapt better. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, you know, um, I mean, I wish I can do as many things. Um, I know I can't sing. It don't matter how hard or how bad I want it. <laughs> I can't sing. Now, don't ever say I'm changing I'll your words and put words in your mouth. You can sing. You don't want to sing. Your throat is a piano, just like an untuned instrument. All it needs is the right person to come along and give you a fix, and you'll be all right. Well, if you find somebody that can help me with that, please let me know. I know a lot. If that's what you desire, you can do it. You got a desire within you to get that done. It can be done if that's what you want. I, I do. I would love to sing because I love music, but, you know. Um, so you said you started doing this at nine. Nine years old. When did you, like, really start to take it seriously, start to realize that, you know, what you would have, what these were gifts that you had? Um, again, like, you know, so I was one of them kids that was kind of like depressed and like a loner. I didn't like being around people. When I found out that consistently writing is better than talking to a therapist, I just put my problems on paper and put them in the characters. And mm -hmm. when I read it to somebody, I read it to a couple of people at a young age, probably 11 years old and sink their face and the vocabulary that I had that young and see how shocked they looked at all these words was coming from this young man. I was yeah. like, you know what? I can do this. And then watching Richard Pryor and, uh, like I said, James Earl Jones and different other poets speak and see how people take it, mm -hmm. I had to take it serious. Mm -hmm. The impact of the room, how much I can carry, words can hurt or it can heal. So I'm like, that's powerful, man. Like, people crying over movies and stuff because they said words. They acted the words out. So I wanted that. 
did you, as a child, did you do plays in school? Were you involved in the theater? Like, in man, sus, if you didn't know, like I said, <laughs> hey, I, I still got stage frights as a kid, man. Let me tell you, short and simple, I got on the stage in the elementary school, mm-hmm. and I was in a play that I did not want to be in. You know what I'm saying? And I got up there and I was supposed to say, run, pig, run, or whatever, and oink. I thought it was stupid. You know what I'm saying? As a young kid, I was like, you want me to oink? Like, I'm too classy for that. Like, at a young age. So I didn't do it. I was like, run, pig, run, nigga, oink. What, what y'all want? <laughs> and she was so angry. And the whole crowd was just sitting there like. <laughs> and I oh, stood mama, there in frozen shock, man. Oh, well, nobody there. I ain't tell nobody because I didn't want nobody to see me do it. This is my first time. I did not want to do it. A whole crowd just looked at me at seven. I think I was like seven, and everybody just looked at me. I looked at them like, so what did y'all want me to say? I didn't want to do this. You know what I'm saying? And my teacher pinched me on my arm when I got off stage. It's like, I hated it. But until this yeah. day is, I will not be embarrassed by anybody. So I'm good on spot. I'm easy. I can... I can write and recite poetry off the top of my head and it will make exact sense. You will hear the rhythm. You will hear it rhyme. From those trial and errors, I will never make mistakes because I already made them with this position. Mm-hmm. So that experience right there made me never want to be embarrassed ever again. So if I get put on the spot, I'm going to put on my best performance. Okay. Well, that's, that's what happens. I mean, sometimes bad things will bring out the best in you. Um... I didn't like being on stage either, you know. No, um, I don't like it. But you know, <laughs> the difference is, though, when you're yeah. on stage and it's your stuff and you know these are your words, it's not somebody else's words. Your right. Words, then you have the confidence to, because you know you know yeah. what you're saying, you, you feel what you're saying, yeah. when you feel it, it's easy, well, right? Like, I'm a, I agree 100% with that, sis. I, Man, like I wouldn't want to say no corny line either. I'd be like, "Don't do it." (laughs) Is is it weird that I don't like that other type of poetry? The sky is blue. I went across the sky. That I thought I don't like that type of poetry. It sucks to me. It sucks, but I love that they got their ambition. Mm -hmm. But I I find it corny to me, especially Mm -hmm. when it don't make sense. Now, if you was like what they call it, the Negro poets, the last uh, Negro poets, they Mm -hmm. did that, but they had music. Funk. Right. They was all on stage speaking on political. They was helping people, yeah. so it's different. Yeah. Not them people are reciting in that way. Get your own style. Right. You understand? I think so. um, for me, I had to do it my way. I could not. I didn't have the ability to really emulate anybody. So right. it always had to come from what was already in me or whatever like that. And then just over time, just got more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? It became like beastly. Like when it comes out now, it's like, <laughs> I mean, it comes out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but I when I'm angry, know. though, it's worse when it's one of them. I'm one of them poets that like to write from darkness and people get darkness so wrong. Like when I get angry, I come out with the best work. Yeah. Because I want to write about something that makes me not being angry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You could do the, you're supposed to do the opposite. Just like when you were talking about love earlier. Mm-hmm. I know this sounds weird, but when I post something or do something, who's the first person to hit like or an emoji on a project? Myself. Because I feel like you should love your own work first before anybody. After I post something, I'll go back and put my heart on it. Because if nobody else loves me, I'm going to love myself first. Yeah. It's not for reaction. It's just motivating myself that I love me for doing what I'm doing, which is taking the time out to do this. And so what that has to do with what you just said, man, I just got to do it. It's, it's in me to just do that. Yeah, that's real talk. That's real talk because, you know, I think I had that same conversation with somebody. I said, you know, if you don't love it, how are you going to expect somebody else to love it? You got to love yeah. it. You, know? you got to love it. Love yourself first. Yeah. Be the first person to thumbs up your YouTube video. Be the first person probably to make a comment like, I hope y'all enjoy it because I enjoy writing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm an a-hole because I'm a comedian too. It's weird because I be like, well, if you ain't on like it, God damn it, I will. You know what I'm saying? So people see the suave side, the quiet side, the mystique. Man, I'm silly, man. I I, I got problems. Like you oh, said, I, good problems. some of your funny stuff. <laughs> 
country, the country guy. When you oh man, YouTube, or YouTube, I don't know if they know about the YouTube channel, but uh, oh, sucks. But they, the brother got these skits on YouTube where he's talking <laughs> to himself and he's playing different characters. Yeah. All him. But get my Eddie Murphy on. Yeah. <laughs> get my Eddie Murphy on. Yes. And I was yeah. like, wow. I would have never thought to do that. But did you, you know what I'm saying? They're just showing that's your versatility. Yeah. You know what Man. I mean? Man. You know that you comes from sitting in the house cool. board. Yeah, I mean, everybody can't do that though. Impersonations. Yeah. Well, you make it look real easy though. But I enjoy watching. Oh some man. Um, but even though they be silly, go ahead, just run it. I know you got some more. Go ahead and get deep because I know you got some questions. Like, I go I'm ahead, hit home. Do it. So what? <laughs> um, I want you to talk about all of the different form forms of expression that you have. Uh, artistic expression. I mean, the one that you started out doing and then how you grow and you involved into um, being able to do all, all different kind of uh, arts of expression, like from singing to poet, like which one? Oh, that yeah. Done? That to be Ali, it wasn't like my first thing completely 100 is uh, singing. I was singing um, the Osley Brothers um Oh, uh, what is the name of that track? I can't believe. Oh, I can't even. When I think of it, I'm gonna tell you it was Osley Brothers' song. It probably about like six or seven singing with my uncle or whatever. Uh -huh. Summer breeze, summer breeze. Uh -huh. oh, oh my God! Like yeah, that was, you that was like woo. That's my that's my job right there. What? Okay, so well, I'm a little rasp, singing, bro. and then you went into poetry. Yeah. And then how, what else did you get into? Now I gotta line it up. You know what I'm saying? It was it was singing, uh, battle rapping. Okay. And but poetry just was in there, period. You just I mean, when you singing, rapping, any any of that, I always just wrote but never knew the title of it. You know what I'm saying? I never knew that poetry had a name. It was just something at nine that I just did. I just and my aunt told me how it was. She was like, that's considered poetry, and this is rap, and that's R&B. And what you just did was three different things, and you didn't even know it. Now, mm -hmm. sing what you just wrote in poetry. I mm -hmm. sung it, sounded right, and she was like, now rap it. And I was able to do it all, and my voice changed every time. My voice is different every time I either sing, rap, or recite. That's like three different personalities. It sure that's why I have three names. That's the same. So the God King Lies represents That's rap. All day the rugged side of me, the most darkest side of me that just releases all my anger. Like God King Live is an animal in a good way. Mm -hmm. And brother GKL, you would consider him the one that sits down and he writes songs and mm -hmm. R and B, Neo Soul, and that things like that to, to appease. But if you appease the woman, the the, the man gonna support his queen. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you love, your mate is going to support what that person loves. So if I write songs supporting a woman and really mean what I'm saying, mm -hmm. everybody else shall come. I don't have to get the, the, the male audience. You know what I'm saying? Because the male audience is going to come is when, when the women support. You know what I'm saying? Because and I'm genuine about it. And then you got the poet B dot GK or the dot is important. You know what I'm saying? That's the one that sits down and construct all the poetry and help other people get their junks together. You know what I mean? So it's different personalities for different names. Oh, awesome. Awesome. I never thought would have thought to do that. Like, I mean, for me, I try to keep the erotica separate from, yeah. you know, the other side. Just not to confuse people because everybody ain't with, yeah. you know, the erotica. Uh, but since so kind of that's on them. them. That, that's I on know, them. You know, know. You know. But, it's, but it's it's different yeah. opportunities for different right. Genres, so I find more opportunity by keeping them yeah. separate. You know? But I got what you're saying because I don't like, um, I can't say I don't, it's not my thing to listen to gothic poem, poetry where it's like everything is dark and gloomy. You know what I'm saying? All yeah. the time, you know, uh, what they call it, melodic moonlight, like darkness, you know, ominous, you know what I'm saying? Wicked tired. It's a, it's a market for that. And I'm not in that market. That's, you will hear it in my stories, but I'm not into writing a whole genre for the rest of my life of gothic dark music. Like I, I'm good. Right. 
Right. I'm good. But the thing is, like, you got to know your crowd. So if you know you're going to a place yeah. that you like, then that's what you need to give them. And if you're yeah. going to a place that like something different, yeah. that's what you give them. And believe me, in doing it that way, you will satisfy everybody and you will be able to uh, be available to do a lot of different type of events. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so I can do a straight up all erotica event and then I can come yeah. out and do a presentation for a library on some, some you know, um, history. So, it's right. like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, you can't do the history and erotica together. <laughs> I don't think that, you know. But it's it's good to kind of um, find a lane and a group for each style that you have. And then that way you could grow your base as well, too. I think, you know, that, okay. that works for me. All uh, right, so we're going to go on to, do you have any hidden talents, anything we haven't seen that we don't know? Oh, I got so many surprises. I'm like, look at me as a chessboard. Every piece shall be shown. Like when you come, I'll give you one, like when I say artist development, I always say, well, artist development. You have ever heard of the saying where they said, your advice works for somebody else better than yourself and vice versa. Which means is you can give advice and it don't work for you, but it worked for the other person. Mm -hmm. But I study artist development. You take any artist from any genre, whether it's modeling, writing, or music, or whatever, and you provoke the best in that artist, Mm -hmm. and make it better and sh but all you're doing is showing them what they missing mm -hmm. in their own self mm -hmm. and that's what i take time doing is studying other artists to help them because a lot of times they don't see their greatness because they're too busy stuck in a box mm -hmm. i'm not stuck in a box i'm out of sight out of mind my third eye is open like i always say mm -hmm. you know what i mean so my main thing is artist development mm -hmm. taking time to take a person to help them to see their full potential and to see their greatness because it's actually an insult to tell somebody oh yeah i believe you got you a potential writer that means i'm not good enough and i still need work it's almost like a polite insult you know what i mean i don't like when people say you got potential no you have the potential to be greater than what you are right now mm -hmm. in my eyes it's the way you word that so it's like artist development is my hidden talent mm -hmm. to build an artist okay every day right i know you know what i'm saying i know you know what I'm saying? What you're saying is true. But, yeah. um, you know, that's good that you're putting it out there for the people listening because, yeah. you know, some people out there might need that. They might not have yeah. to help them with that. And it's good, you know, people listening know yeah. they could come find you. And it's like a boys and girls club, but for women, women and men. You know what I'm saying? Like kids, they're a sponge. It's easy to direct them if you got that chance, but it's hard to take an adult that's already tainted to rebuild them, to build up their confidence. Because while you're building their confidence, you're building your own. Mm -hmm. So that's easy for me to do that. The best therapist is the most craziest one. Mm -hmm. I ain't calling myself crazy, but I'm just saying the mind is very infinite. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be thinking of some crazy stuff in a positive way, though. Well, tell me, what was one of the best compliments you ever got about your work? Oh my God! One just or maybe. Two. Oh my God! <laughs> it's like, I'm not. I mean that in a humble. I'm honorable. I don't mean that like oh. I'm just you know. To be honest with you, um, I wrote this 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 piece or whatever, and um, the sister it actually brought tears to my eyes. It's a grown man, you know what I mean? Because she said, uh, "Man, I want I want to kill myself," mm. and she came in my box. I'm like. What's, what's happening? She's like, I want to tell you something. I'm like, you want to tell me what? And she was like, your poem helped me get through my day. Mm -hmm. And I hope that, uh, kind of like, I'm just briefly going over, you know what I'm saying? Just, I hope other people will be able to accept this message kind of like in a way that she did because she wanted to kill herself. Mm. And I'm like, it was about depression. Mm. It's, on, it's on Instagram. It was about how you deal with with depression and how I deal with depression is that you got to let it flow. Depression and anger is like water. If you run against the current, you will break your body. If you swim with it, you may drift back to sea. You know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to let the water take you out because water can heal you and it also can break you. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like oxygen. Too much oxygen alone, it can kill you if it's too much, but it also can heal you if you have a hard chance of breathing. So it's kind of like that's the scenario. Don't run against the current's problems in life. Run with the water and make it back to shore. That's a beautiful thing and a beautiful story, too. Um, I see. You know, it's always, when, you, when I hear stories like that, it just reaffirms yeah. Why what we do is so powerful, but we don't even have no idea. Yeah, our greatness. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Even after we've been doing it, we still probably won't realize. You know, maybe right. maybe after we're gone, it'll be fully realized. So yeah. You know, for a lot of artists, they don't get the the recognition they deserve while they're here. But like when they, yeah. they when they transition. Yeah. And that's when you really realize all the people they touch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You notice that? Oh, yeah. You know Why do you think they do it back in the day? They've been doing it for years, like leaving monuments. You can live without physically being here because yeah. people keep your energy alive every single day day that's why you collab you you work with other people you uh you would say bless other people do something for somebody else they'll never forget that you live on in somebody else's energy and so on you know what i mean yeah you know what i'm saying especially like you know you see somebody yeah. out there that's doing something for the greater good of the community you know right. you definitely want to get involved in those type of projects you know what i mean yeah um, I mean, you also got to be careful on who you collaborate with, too. Yeah. Like, people too fast to jump into a collaboration with another poet. Go look at their stuff because they might be talking about some, you know, yeah. pedophilia stuff or some uh, woman abuse. Like, you got to make sure you're careful on who you write with. Mm -hmm. Period. And I analyze everybody. Yeah, and you know, another thing on that note is everybody who they appear to be are not who they really are. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes right. you can look at a person's profile, you know, this and that, but once you start to converse with that person, right. you're like, um, no, that... No. It doesn't match. You, know you got to kindly mean? tell people they ain't on your level, too, in a nice way, like, ah, I don't like that one, two, three poetry. I'm so cool. I'm in school. You a fool. You a dude. I'm like, dude, every line... Bruh, I was like, every line don't got the rhyme that short, man. You're going to have to give me some more words in the middle, man. I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave this for somebody else, brother. <laughs> I, I, I think, I mean, I ain't trying to toot my own bro. I think you in the wrong level of writing, brother. Like, I'm good. Have a good day. But you know what? That's, that's, that's what a sonnet is. So, you know, I, yeah. mean, I don't have a problem with rhyming. I rhyme a lot. So, you know, it works for me. No, so I'm talking about a lot. Like, I'm talking about some people don't have sentences. It's like cool, school, fool, rule. I'm like, dude, did you go to the source and just start writing shit? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's true. Sometimes it's a little excessive, you know. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to go on to. What made you yeah. decide to become a professional artist? So you did oh, it, you did man. it, you know, you grew up with it, but when did you say, you know what, I'm going to take it to the next level? Oh, that was 16. I don't know if oh. people ever felt the, felt the steam of actually winning a rap battle or oh. appeasing, like, you know, one of your exes or something like you didn't let one of your exes hear one of your poems and they get like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know what? I really need to put this in stone and make this part of my personal life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And just go ahead and do it because it's starting now. I see that it affects people. That's why I'm careful with my words. Mm -hmm. this, this became my profession as a teen. I had to. It had too much power. I mean, look at all these people out here, all these, you know, astrologists and leaders. They use words to provoke a movement. So I'm like, I, I need to do this. It got power in it. 16. And I wanted power, too. You know, so I wanted power. So I wanted to do it in the right way, though. Well, let me ask you this. How has um, being an artist affected your life? Um, but you started very young. So right. you kind of like grew into it. But right. um, once you made that transition from, you know, just a regular average person to becoming a professional mm -hmm. artist, how did that change your life? 
mean, to be honest with you, you know, after, you know, after continuing writing after my father, that, like I said, that's my motivation. One of my motivations other than my father, my kids, and my, you know, it's in the course hundred percent my wife is just all writing, but I, I I just it's my everybody got their advice. This is my addiction. Mm-hmm. I have to. I ask for this. I ask for me to become a master writer. This is my craft. Like you, like I said, you would consider people don't y'all don't get scared, you know, people that do magic or uh some type of religion or think my only spirituality is writing mm-hmm. and sending positive messages to people. That's who I am, and I respect everybody else's spirituality. And religion, my main religion is to love. That's all I believe in is to love and write and leave something behind. I hear you. I agree 100%. Uh, Um, Definitely, you are definitely doing that, brother. You're leaving a legacy for sure. Yeah. I mean, I hope people don't, you know, say I don't want people to forgive me. But at the end of the day, man, I want to. I got two kids books I'm working on. This is only one thing. So I ain't going to speak on it because I got to big up on the doctor, Patricia Dems, because I already promised her, you know what I'm saying, probably like last year that I wanted her to do my first live for my book or whatever. But so that's why I speak lightly on it through everybody live because I appreciate everybody asking me to just speak on it because I didn't expect nobody really even to care too much because I was helping other people with their books, you know what I'm saying? So it's about time for me to do it. I'm on my, I'm on, I'm on my Prince thing. You know what I'm saying? Instead of him helping other people, Prince started doing other things. Yeah, because we talked about the whole book um, yeah. happening probably yeah. about a year ago, at least, right? Yeah. You helped me with some advice back in the day with me. You were starting off to do my book. I was like, man, what's the process and things like that? And then... Like I said, Dr. Patricia Dills, that's big sister, man. She came in and helped. I don't know. I know how to self-publish, but I don't know how to format 100%. You know what I'm saying? I'm good at building a whole book for somebody and things like that. She really went in there and showed me how to do certain things and whatever. Just just blew my mind and gave me some knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's where I'm at with it. Professional life. Well, I wish you much success, and I don't doubt that you will have it at so all. If two people bought it, I don't. I didn't did it in my mind. I, know, I, right? didn't, I didn't. You talking to a person that performed for one person in the audience at like sixteen when you first started out to be a rapper? It's one person in the audience. Don't lose your confidence. You just man, you do the best show you can for that one person. So stuff like that don't break me. So if this is like one or two people, I don't care. I did this. No, you feel me? I don't me? think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen, bro. Um, and that ain't verse psychology. That's one hundred. Well, no, I hear what you're saying. The first time you sell one, though, you're gonna be excited, like you know, it's it's. Oh, fact. <laughs> Definitely, it it just it's gonna be very rewarding. Yeah. To say that when you do it, you're gonna be you're gonna probably say, "Why I wait so long." You yeah, know, that's what's that was all on me. You're gonna be mad that you waited so long, but <laughs> you can't but you know, now. I mean, you know, because you know, really, you know, and I know you said you were being a perfectionist, but trust me, yeah. Um, if you notice, if you look at a lot of writers, there's growth in their writing, they don't come out with their best, or right. the first book ain't the best. So, you book two, book three. Yeah. I mean. You can't be put all your hopes and dreams on book number one. Anyway, yeah. you should yeah. be thinking about how many books. Like for me, I already yeah. have a trajectory in my book. Yeah. Which I, I still got to get my books. second copy of the book you just came out with. Don't think I'll do everything in, in order. I got to stay in order. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> no, no. What I'm trying to say is. You know, I was so happy to do the first one. No, I got you. About that, I was like, okay, what else can I do? What else can I do? It's so it's so right now I'm building. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, no, I feel what you're saying. I, I agree with you saying because I see poetic when she said the same thing, Donna. That when you get your first book, the best feeling is when you hold your book. When I heard, mm-hmm. felt, when I sent my proof in the mail, mm-hmm. when the doc, you know, what I'm saying, man, oh my god, I almost lost my mind when I had that meat. That I like, I got, I'm like that's me. Like, I felt like a little kid. You know what I'm saying? So, so it is. It's oh so man. Well, wait until like, you see the artwork on this joint, man. I, I'm, I ain't about to do it. I ain't even about to do it. 
Well, you know what I'm saying? People don't realize all yeah. the time, all yeah. the hours. I mean, it might be this big, this big, whatever, but what's in yeah. some of that yeah. is maybe 300 nights. Yes. 300 days. Crazy hours. I'm talking about okay. non-sleep. In that one book, yeah. they can't even imagine how much of your heart is in those pages. Yeah. So, you know, just to see it come yeah. in, you know what I'm saying, in that little package, yeah. but it means so much because of, you know, all the time yeah. that you put. So, yeah, it's it's the best. I'm so Well, if you know me personally, you will feel it. When you do read it, you're you going you gonna to know. Like, I don't filter. I'm rich. I mean, I got that Richard Pryor spirit on every now and then. I say what's on my mind, but I'm very respectful oh. on doing it. Okay, now. Okay, well, I'm expecting big things. Okay. All right, All right. I'm trying to tell you. I'm talking about wig on the poop, but right off, I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so let me ask you this question here. Um, what goals do you have that you want to speak on? Um, things that you haven't achieved that you're wanting to achieve down the road, like other goals you have for yourself? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, you know, like I said, the doctor kind of like talked to me, Dr. Patricia Dems kind of like talked to me. I said I wanted to be better than Shakespeare in my own time mm. because whatever he did, I wanted that same appreciation through history after I perished. Mm -hmm. And through time, I wanted people to be like, OK, Carl, you know what I'm saying? The poet beat IGKL. Everybody know my real name, which is Carlos. You know what I'm saying? But I, the poet beat IGKL is who I stand for. And I want that to be known that he has scripts. He has books. People want to make movies out of my stuff when I'm like long gone. So my kids would be able to eat off that and vice versa, whatever. You know what I mean? I wanted to be better than Shakespeare. Mm. So I continue to keep writing, reading the dictionary, reading the source, uh, reading uh, astrology, uh, man, all different types of things to prepare myself for the ultimate craft of channeling the writing. I must be a master of my craft, not be a master of the craft, but be a master under it. Nobody is bigger than the word write poetry, unspoken word or whatever, because everybody feel like, oh, I'm better than poetry. I'd have mastered it. No, it's like a teacher. You don't become you may leave the teacher. The teacher ain't going to show you everything. They're not going to tell you everything. You're nobody is better than poetry. You're under it. You're learning it and you found your way to project it. So. That was my thing was, is the master being the best writer that I can be. Mm -hmm. Not just writing stuff to rhyme, just, just writing the most elegant masterpiece like a painter. Mm -hmm. This is my painting. This is my canvas painting. You understand? Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to get into uh, what inspires you. We're going to get into that, where your inspiration comes from. But what I want to ask you now is... Um, what are some of the greatest challenges you faced so far on your journey? Well, to be honest with you, like I say, um, you the greatest challenge would be, I don't know if you're familiar with people with epilepsy. I did a whole lecture on people. The greatest people in the world always have a defect. Mm -hmm. Or well, one of the greatest people in the world usually has a defect. Like Prince has seizures. Um, some people have asthma so bad to the point it may kill them. I have epilepsy, you know what I'm saying? Like seizures, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it'll come if I overload myself with stress and different things like that. That's always a challenge for me because, you know, some people can become vegetables. If you have a seizure one time, I have grandma, like where I would tear up the whole room and wake up and they were like, you fell over a balcony type of stuff. Like, you know what I mean? I'd have had some bad past seizures and that was always a challenge because I was like, man, what if I wake up and don't remember who I am or remember what I knew how to do. So the first thing I used to do when I come out of seizure is start rapping, start singing and start reciting poetry. And everybody be looking at me weird. I've been doing that since I was 19. Having them seizures, I just wake up and start reciting. Mm, wow. Because I didn't want to lose that. That's how much I love my craft. Yes. Wow. That's powerful right there. Whew. Yeah. And um, the reason I can relate to that is because I know personally people who yep. have so, you know, people in my family, you know, so I right. know 
what you're saying. That's a mind thing. That chemical imbalance, you got everything else physical, but it, it messes you up. Every time you have a seizure, it damages your memory brain. Your, like, what they call it? Your, uh, your, your brain, your memory band is in your head. Mm-hmm. And every time you have a seizure, it leaves a scar on your memory band. Mm-hmm. So you forget unimportant things. And then that's why I say, she'll be like, that's why you was telling like, bro, you helped me with this. I'm like, it was important, but I got so much in my head. Some things you're putting the fire cabinet. And then it came back to me like, oh, I did do that. Mm-hmm. You rejogged my memory. It was right. important, but it faded into one of them file cabinets. Oh, yeah. Watch Dreamcatcher, by the way, by Stephen King. Y'all understand what I mean by mental file cabinets. You got your mind is almost like a, a library and you can always find that book that you lost. Well, I didn't know about yeah. the epilepsy, but now that you say it, yeah. it all makes sense. It comes together now. But um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shouts out, Nico B. And our little sisters. I see y'all out there, everybody. I always yeah, got to resort back to the people. Love y'all, man. Tonight. Always. Love. My bad, sis. So, you know, I always go back and show. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got right path in the house. Like I said, poetry, yes. serenity, all everybody up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, the I appreciate y'all. In the building. Thank you, family, for coming through. Um, so we're going to go on to um, who or what has helped you stay committed to your craft. Not that I think you need much help. But <laughs> you, <laughs> if you I don't believe you. You know. Like you talking about like basically like stay on it. You can do this. You got this. And right. I would have to say like just consistently on my head about it. It'd be my wife and my my big sister, Dr. Patricia Demps, like, like, like consistently, like on the phone, what's happening? I'm talking to my wife, like, so what's up with your book? Like that, I would say that like that, because that's the prior time, they, just every day, mm-hmm. every day. Awesome. Next I mean, my wife wanted to, you know, make sure she said, well, she contributed to my first barcode. You know what I'm saying? She, my wife said, what you want me to do? I was like, hey, get my barcode and my, uh my scanner or whatever, you know what I'm saying? She bought that and she, she wanted to contribute to my, uh, my work. And I love her for that. And my big sis, like I said, big sis, Patricia Dems, always there on the, in the shadows mm-hmm. helping. Like that's what she do. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, uh, I have some people that have, um, you know how they say people come into your life for a reason you don't know why. Yeah. And, but they're not meant to stay. They are meant to come into your life to push you to where yeah. you need to go. And that's all they're meant to do. Well, I've had yeah. like angels who've done that for me, who yeah. I'm not going to mention names, but they just showed up at a time where I needed yeah. something. And they gave me that thing. And yeah. kind of just, okay, that's all I need to do. Like as if the universe sent them to do right. that one thing. And now, I don't want to leave nobody out, too. So I'm, I probably I want to cut even yourself. Uh, a lot of people in this chat line, you know, when they got the time, everybody got their own life. Uh, it's a lot of people in this chat that do the same thing. Like, hey, bro, you got it. Your work is beautiful. And we go back and forth. Hey, your work is good. They're like, no, your work is good. You know what I'm saying? I like <laughs> saying I like that. So it's it's a back and forth thing. So I can't. That's just a main. My wife and my big sister, you know what I'm saying? It's can. Like every day, but yeah. far as a lot of people in here, including yourself, that just you know when you love, when you got time to love, and I do understand people got excuse my language shit to do. You know what I'm saying? If you support yeah. my stuff every day, apparently you ain't doing it. Okay, I know. Right? <laughs> I, know. <laughs> I don't say nothing about that though. But yeah, I, I, I be wondering yeah. about some of that myself. So yeah, I mean, if somebody liking your stuff every two seconds. Comment every five seconds. You need to ask yourself, do you got a stalker? I work a lot. So, you yeah. know, for me, trying to find that balance between work yeah. and the artist, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? So, like, man, yeah, think of yourself like an octopus, man. Just let your hands, your spiritual <laughs> hands, man, make you grab what you need to grab. I know, like, I, know. I, w- I need an assistant now. Let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. For I, man, I'm telling you, wait till that paper get to rolling well, like I need well, it. I'm gonna get one. People do stuff for us that we know we made it. That's what we know we made it, right? Yeah, we I know I need like, an A and R though. I would like an A and R. Can you can you get me a cup of coffee or something? 
<laughs> oh, you know you'll too you know you'll feel too good if you got that chance. Like, um, excuse me, I need two coffees, three sugars. Don't play with me now. Go get my shit now. Give me my give me my good pen. Don't don't F around with me. Get my good pen. You the blue one. The blue one. Listen. Listen, let's be real. We ain't made it yet. Cause when we can do that, when we can do that. I see, I see you though. If you had a sister, you would be on your live. Like, didn't I tell you to turn the volume up? All right. Uh, I'm like, you're Queen of Connie, like, damn. I'm like, relax. Look, 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 I, look, I right now, the assistant be the auntie and the grandma. And they be like, I ain't doing shit. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, can you do me? I ain't doing shit. Well, see, you know, I gotta be a hole on purpose. My tea wasn't steep for seven minutes. You didn't steep my tea. All right now, <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just, I'm just playing. <laughs> yeah, well, no, they say, I, I don't see no check in my. You ain't putting no money in my account. <laughs> so say she need a babysitter. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, people in my family, they be like, "Well, when yeah. you start paying us, they yeah. come be making orders and all that, whatever." So uh, let's be real. We ain't get to the point yet, but put that on your <laughs> goal list. It's going to happen. Assistant. <laughs> you it's know? Gonna, but see, I am my assistant. I'm my assistant, my chief, my role. I'm everything to right. me, but I, I, I do need an A&R. Like somebody I can say, hey, listen to this. I got a couple people in mind. Like, I need you to make sure. Is this hot or is this whack? Like, give me the honors. I got elephant skin. Tell me if this is whack or not. Right. I mean, I... If you ever need one, I'm here. I don't mind. Hey, vice vice versa. <laughs> vice versa. Right. Okay, so we're gonna go on to oh Lord, here we go. This one no. I know oh, you got a snap. Whole Have you right. ever collaborated with another artist? And if so, can you tell me about that experience? Have I ever collaborated with another artist in what way? Um, like what? What writing style? What we at? Poetry, music, modeling, yeah, so what? This is what I'm saying about with you, it could be so many lanes. So let's, anything. Let's find one is lane. it the worst person that I? Is it the worst person that I? I won't say no name, but is it the worst person that I work with, or is it just who no, I work with no, in the experience? I mean, when you, because you know, when you collaborate with someone else, you all feed off each other's energy, right? So with the energy. Good energy, you know. Did that energy make the problem? <sighs> I can tell you that, uh, as far as like the people that I actually collaborated with, I'm not gonna say no names and because like, cause ain't nobody in the chat line here because you know I'm blunt, I say it, you know what I mean? No, they not in here, but uh, the one person what it was, I actually thought this person couldn't read. You I'm like, what? bro, I thought this person had a problem with reading long material or even using bigger words. It got so bad to the point where I had to stop the project and be like, you know what? I'm going to write the whole project. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a brother. Mm. And he was like, oh, it's going to take me a minute to work on it, man. I'm like, what? I'm like, I just wrote it, man. Like, are you, man, in my mind, are you slow? Like, mm -hmm. I, I respect people with, you know, special abilities. Like, are you slow? Mm -hmm. Do you need to read some more? Like, I wrote it for you. You can't recite it. Like, like you can't understand words like fatigue. He was like, bro, what is this word? I'm like, are you serious? I was like, man, you ain't in the craft. You ain't in the craft, bro. You one, two, three. If you one, two, three, you need to learn how to read and write, bro. I'm trying to tell you, because if I get one more one, two, I'm so cool. I'm in school. I'm going to burn. I'm going to burn down a library, allegedly. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. And you older than me? Like you like ten years That's older than me? Like, don't, sus, don't sus, it. It, sus, what? it do. You supposed to be giving me knowledge. That used to be the old no. rule. The elders supposed to usually pass down the knowledge so I could teach the next generation. But it's reversed no. now. No. Not always. <laughs> oh, Not you say elevator didn't go up all the way. <laughs> so how did you handle that? I mean, you said you just well. What did you, how did you handle this? I had my laugh because I actually laughed. What I told like, man, I'm about to laugh at you. I was like, I'm that blunt because I don't believe in talking crap behind nobody back. All, all the way, you got your pillow talk. But I was like, hey, man, 
um, you need to work on yourself a little bit. And I was like, I don't want to be mean or sound like I'm being too cocky because there's some people out here that may be more advanced than me vocabulary wise. I ain't met them yet. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, it's a, I'm just playing. No, it's a lot of people that got some good wordplay, but just all jokes aside, I handle it like I, a professional shit. I was like, all jokes aside, I don't mean no harm, man. I just like, I feel like you just got to work on your craft a little bit harder. And if you need some help, I genuinely mean, I'm laughing, God damn it, because I'm a real person, but mm-hmm. I want to help you. And then I tried to help you and help you and help you to the point I almost did one of these and just said, F it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm, saying? You I'm good. Only, you can only help us so much. Man. Uh, that I feel you on that. And Deuces. Jesus, like poet said, G said deuces. I was out and about. Like some other people know the gentleman. They they know the gentleman. I can't do it because they too much on themselves. When you just you yo look, your topic is the same thing. Like you never change your concept. And like you have a powerful voice, but a, a whack delivery and a short memory span of writing. Your writing doesn't express the way you talk when you just speak in regular conversation. When you start to recite, it's like a three-second poem and it cut off. i like, you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. I do an hour and 30 minutes of work, like, collaborate with somebody. Not saying you got to do the same thing, but mm-hmm. I love this craft. And this is no joke. Yeah. And it is. But, uh, you know, I mean... My bad, sis. I think I snapped. My bad. Go ahead. No, look, I'll say it definitely levels to it. And yeah. you know that's why we were saying that when you do a collaboration, make sure that it's somebody that you y'all mesh well. Because if you hear yeah. and they hear, that's gonna be kind of hard. Because you know what I mean. It's hard to bring somebody all the way up. That yeah. Way. You know, what like I can't. Say, I give people the opportunity to also read certain poems that I wrote, and I try to keep it classy when I send stuff. De- definitely. The women, you know what I'm saying? Like the brothers, I can pretty much send them and they can go ahead and do it because a lot of people got husbands and boyfriends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I got to be careful on, you know, I be professional with what I, what I want in the narrative because I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I take that in, in to heart. So when I send them some work, I'm like, this is a classy piece and everybody be good. But now if you single now, I'm going to send you some erotic piece or something crazy. It ain't going to be nasty like that, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> read that for me so people can hear that because, like okay. I said, there's a couple people in here that narrated some stuff for me. Very good. Right. It says, uh, you owe me one, too, if you don't mind. You see my eyes? You see them? I know you see them. Like, <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got to laugh to keep from crying. I know. Well, let's go to this next question, which is... Um, how do you use constructive critique to improve your work? So you gonna look at me like I'm insane. Go ahead. Go ahead. You said give you some constructive critique. You so you so silly. No, no, I was like, no. I, was like, do you I want said, me to do it? no. I'm like, you no. gonna think I'm crazy? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like constructive criticism. I actually stand in the mirror and tell myself what I'm not good at. Then I need to get better at it. Mm-hmm. Stop acting weak. Mm-hmm. Do better. I didn't like what you wrote last time. I think you could do a whole lot better. Your delivery don't sound like nothing. Like I will sit there and listen to my own poem like, crap, I wish I would have put more emotion into that. Mm-hmm. I, I wish I would have put more of my regular voice is baritone. But mm-hmm. I play with my voice like a piano and people be like, man, which one is your regular? My regular voice sounds like this. Mm-hmm. I sound like a growling lion if I was the whisper. So who said so, like, I play with my voice, the tones of it. You're supposed to play with it. So a lot of times I criticize myself in the most worst way in private. You know what I'm saying? To make myself get better, like fighters do. You're weak. You can't do it. Do it better. You can push more. That's kind of what I do to myself. Your writing sucks, like, and be laughing about it after, but then I go and kill that paper. I kill that. I'm telling you, my wife can't stand my typewriter. It be tack attack attack tack 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 till I be killing it. Mm. So I'm my biggest criticize. I'm the worst because I love that you know. passion. That's that's something. Uh we're gonna go on to what do you know now that you wish you would have known at the beginning of your journey? 
I wish I would have um, opened that dictionary earlier. Like, my wordplay was good, but I wish I would have took business in, like, a trade school. Like, you know what I'm saying? Instead of learning the trial and error, I self-taught myself everything. Mm -hmm. Photoshop. Uh, basically, a little bit for my engineer on how to record, mix and master music a little bit. Just different things like that. I did everything the hard way. I am the shortcut. So with that being said, if I had to teach somebody else, I would teach them what not to do that I should have done. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Because you probably would have gotten there faster. You could yes. have got there faster, right? Yes. Yeah. I would have had at least about like 12 books out right now if yeah. I knew what I knew now. Like yeah. I read like five self-publishing books. I'd have read two business books, three books on grammar. I wish I would have did this when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I'm in the same boat. <laughs> Don't feel you bad. Know I'm in the same boat. You know how hard Photoshop is? Like when you just stepping in without a class, like man, I learned that man, I learned that thing in one year because I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Consistency. Yeah. I do um what is this I use? I use um what is this thing I have on here? It's not um well I started out using PowerPoint because you know that's like the ABCs. Yeah, uh, you'll be teaching me because I don't even know how to use that. Like PowerPoint and Word? Yeah, well, I mean, I knew how to use Word already, but PowerPoint, I had to learn how to use that. Yeah. And then there was this other one I used. Um, but it's, No, it's Word is good, hard. but PowerPoint is hard. Huh? PowerPoint is hard. Word is is master. You know, that's pretty much yeah. math. I'm PowerPoint is something else. Publisher. Yeah. Um, I use Publisher to make my book covers. Okay. Yeah, so um, Publisher is a good program to use to make your book yeah. And I make all my book covers. But that's Let's I get do. it. Oh, my bad. Shouts out to my <laughs> my, saying, my, my big you. sister, you know what I'm saying? Sharice out here. I see you out there. Yeah, Go I ahead, so. how to do it. So, you know, I feel you on the self-taught thing. You know, yeah. that's what I'm saying is I'm all self-taught too. So I definitely, yeah. you know, relate to that. Okay, we're going to go yeah. on to, okay. okay, so what part of the process do you enjoy the most and what part do you enjoy the least? Um, I hate the editing part, but people don't know how much time and editing it takes to do one good, unique post with all the stuff moving and the, the voice notes, I mean, the narration, because you got to edit the audio, the video, the, you got to make this picture move you got to do just attract all things in it i hate that part it's a necessary evil i hate it but i love it but the best part i do love is when it's a finished product and i gotta go back and repeat like what that boy just say Whoa! you know what I'm saying? like good boy that boy was smoking like you know what I'm saying like the part is when everybody else responds to it and gets something positive from it. And um, like the laugh out of its comedy, that's the part that I like. I hate the editing part because right. I just want to get it out. I wish I could snap my fingers and be like, boom, done. I want to get it out. But it, it's not that easy. It's I not that. It's a lot of work that go behind that. I used to hate it too, but it has become yeah. more, time more therapeutic because yeah. I get lost in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I get lost in the words. Like, I could sit in front of a computer and work on yeah. it all day. If I had nothing else to do, I'd just sit there like this all day. I mean, because I have well, literally written poems in a day because... Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, right. I it, used to, it used to be frustrating. Now, yeah. I have my techniques. So I know how to move through the poem yeah. faster. I know what how to how to you know what I mean? So well, when, see, when you get your technique in, yeah. your writing technique, okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. That that helps you kinda it helps you with um developing the poem quicker. And I'm gonna reveal something today as well, like far as like um my aunt is on here. I, I'm actually, you know, I helped her with some things or whatever, and on some of her, like, just organizing it or whatever. 
But the one that got me in this situation, like to writing and doing poetry and spoken word and all that, or not spoken word, but poetry and writing music is my aunt, the reason why I write today. Her artist's name is Tay Rose Wright. I created her logo and different things like that to help her get herself out there because it was about time. She got about like 20 books sitting in the archive, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm helping her with a lot of things, and that's my aunt. I wasn't going to reveal her yet, but I was like, man, I ain't want nobody to know that was my auntie yet, but that's my auntie. And she wow. taught me a lot of things, like just sat down with me and taught me how to do music. Okay. And a lot of people don't know that. So she on here. So, you know, show her some love. You know, her name Tay Rose Wright. That's her artist name, man. Show her some love. That's my blood. That's my peoples. You know what I'm saying? I love her to life. You know what I'm saying? We already following each other, I think. Oh, I'm sure of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Because you, you got that fire. You know I'm going to connect the two networks. You know what I'm saying? All right. Well, we're going to go on to... Um... What ways have you found to connect more with your audience? Oh man, I go to I talk to everybody on a personal level. Like I go to your DM, it ain't got nothing to do with writing. Hey, how you doing? How the kids doing? How you feeling? How is life? Like it ain't like forget about me. How you doing? Or either I got your personal number, or either I send you some. I'm just that's what I do. And people let me know, and then they tell me themselves, like, man, I love what you did with this, da 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 da. And it tells me what more of that people like coming from me. Yeah. And that's what I try to focus on as well. Yeah, that's good. That's uh, definitely a good way to get um, feedback yeah. about what you need to work on. You know, oh, if, yeah. you hear it, if you hear it straight from the people. Yeah. Oh, trust. I don't know, 3,000 something people. That's, that's on my page supporting. I have talked to at least about 2,500 of them on a personal level, like what you need, network or whatever. Some are just there. They just follow and don't ever like nothing. But mm -hmm. a lot of those people I have talked to at least once or twice. Awesome. Yeah, I probably need to do more of that myself. Uh, thank you. Know. Keep that in the um, put that in the memory bank. You know, just open greeting that you can, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is also, just to make it short, always ask somebody first before you get the posting and a messenger. I had to learn that trial and error. I have a greeting that I send everybody that's new to my page that asks people, is it okay for me to post my material? You know what I'm saying? And your and your and on your, you know what I'm saying, in your DM. And you, we can support and build with each other. My name is such and such and so forth. And if they agree, we good. If they don't agree, we just ain't going to follow each other. It's just like you got to go with some people respect and comfort. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And they respect you more. Absolutely. I hear you. Um, so we're going to go on to um, um, what advice would you give someone who is considering to become an artist writer or author to be honest with you uh man don't let nobody mold your style create your style of what you've been through we, we have enough people doing and sounding the same way through music r&b and everything like that even through business people copy off each other all the way they almost want to live your life even in your relationship life so being an artist straight to the point create yourself a character that actually exists in you you know what I'm saying? And don't try too much to be like these people that have already been out here, like these celebrities. Get, you know, get a little something from them and be motivated, but if that's what you want to do, but create yourself. Make yourself a brand. Take yourself more serious than just putting stuff up there if that's what you value. But being an artist, I would literally say focus on your respect. Focus on your name. Don't let nobody put your name on everything because they may not represent you properly. So as an artist, you got to be careful with who speaks your name on their on their page. And they may be just ignorant. You know what I mean? I don't want that. Right. That's so be careful. Real talk. That's real talk right there. J. Rob, I see you, brother. I appreciate you, man, all day, every day, brother. I see you. Well, that we are just almost at the end of the interview. Yeah. I have two questions for you. Do you want to give mm -hmm. any shout out? Um, I know you got a lot of family in the building, so if you want to give some shout out, man, that's a whole yeah. lot of people, man. Like, it's yeah. hey, I'm, I'm talking to one, 
you know, it's yourself. I appreciate you for Thank letting me um uh, Thank you. Come on here and you know, bless this live if you would say, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but no, I think everybody like you got the brother J Rob down here, you know what I'm saying? You got Katrina McCain in here, you got my that's my little sister all day, Nikwa B, very talented as well. Everybody that I'm naming is talented like crazy, poetic serenity, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I got my real big sister in here, which is my sister-in-law, but I don't like to say sister-in-law. Her name is Sharice. You know what I'm saying? She was just in here. And, um, man, all my family, everybody just stopped through here and just left in and out. People got stuff to do, but right. man, I appreciate y'all. I got, I love y'all. Y'all ain't got to say that back to me. I know people get weird, man. I love all y'all because at the end of the day, if I pass on, somebody loved jazz if nobody else didn't. Brother GKL <laughs> loved jazz. Okay? I love you, Nick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> oh, boy. And then um, tell people where they can find you, where they can find your work. Oh, my God, man. That's why, that's why I made this hashtag so powerful. No matter what you do, if you put hashtag the poet, the poet, all together, the poet BGKL, because you know they ain't going to let the dot, I'm going to pop up everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, uh, man, Facebook, uh, anchorfm.com. Like, man, it's like if you even on Reverb Nation, it's – YouTube, most definitely. You find me on YouTube. I got a billion videos on there with all types of stuff. Like, mm -hmm. so there's nowhere you can't find me. You can never say that you couldn't support nothing because me and my wife got our own thing. We got our own TV show, Natural and More Forever. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube and Facebook. So mm -hmm. if you want to, you need a couple of labs, you need some gems, or you need to hear some artwork, let me know. Oh, you just need to talk. I'm here. Give it to him one more time. What's the name? The name is on YouTube, the poet, B.GKL, or Brother GKL. You will always find me anywhere okay. in the search bar if you type that. If you Google it, I'm going to pop up. I made sure of it. Okay. All right. Well, that is our interview, fam. And, um, you know, now... Um, you know, you want to spit yeah. some stuff off the dome before we go. Oh, you trying to get me off the dome? Yeah, like, I, I want you actually. I want how you many minutes them, I got? I want you to show them why you're so special. Like, I mean, I know how special you are, but my people don't know you like I know you. So, I want you how to many show minutes? Them. Huh? How many minutes I got left? <laughs> oh. I don't know how long they they let us do it. They don't give. I don't. It's don't, usually an hour. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Into, yeah, we started. So yeah, we about an hour, almost an hour and a half. So give me. I'll put it like this. Five ten minutes. Yeah. Put me at the top of the storm. Mind and body move different, but a heart still transform. You can see me in the nature of the yard, sitting out there picking leaves and smelling fresh air under the corn. Heart feeling, feeling real good, but it still feels scorned, torn, but still sold up, faced off. Body feels good, but the mind is still lost. I come back and read my pockets. I feel broke, but my pockets are still bossed. I keep my mind on this nature, this natural feeling that I'm feeling. I'm tired of sitting back and thinking about all the time that I'm killing. I sit in this fan because I'm hot, but not because the heart still spew. Everything that I say is what the heart can do. A few people can't understand the vibes that I'm spitting. I'm still getting. Never going to be forgetting the life that I'm still living. My soul is still binded. If I was VHS, I would still get my soul and rewind it because I love to see the happy times like people see all the jungle vines and see you swinging. I'm still hanging out here with the deepest part of myself. Mm. But people forget about life. People forget about their wealth. Mm. Live on. This is the poet B.GKL. That's all I'm going to give you. Wow. Well, that's enough. That was love, and that was perfect. Actually, that was perfect. So, nah, uh, thank you all for joining us. And Brother GKL, you know what I'm saying? What's we that? Doing what we do, brother. Keep doing hey, what we do. And, I appreciate uh, you for being one of the ones I always get my name right. Like you say, it's life. You always got my name right, and I appreciate that. No, no. I said I appreciate you because you one of the ones that always get my name right. Okay. Okay. One of my names. Like, God, God, like God man, right. not God. It's God King Live, and you always got my name right. You know what I'm saying? Life is the part that people can't never get right. They keep saying life, live. I was like, it's life, brother. 
It's, it's yeah. just, like, just think of Goliath when you think of my name, but my name is Life. Mm -hmm. That's like part Lion, Part Wolf. Right. Yeah, see, just see, man, wait till you see this book cover. I'm trying to, I ain't, even, I ain't dealing with you, eh? <laughs> uh, okay, see, you done already gave me a little tip, so now I know. All right, now. I just, okay. Oh, you the cat in the building, and, big, and my sister's misunderstood. That's, they, that's husband and wife right there. Love y'all, you know what I'm saying? That's another one. Connect with them, sir. Trying to tell you. Yes, yes, absolutely. So anybody, you know, if you want to connect with me, um, you know, and you in the um uh, yeah. camp, you know, look me up, um, uh, check out some of my yeah. work, um, you know, check out my page, Queen Yaki. And yeah. uh, thank you for joining us for spilling the tea with Queen. Um, this will be my last interview for a while. I'm taking a little hiatus because yeah. I got some other projects, but um look out for some of my other projects that I'm gonna be coming through with. And, um, you know, one love. Thank y'all for coming through, brother GKL. It's always a pleasure, brother. Hey, watch out, sis. You know, it's always love, darling. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing your project when they come out as well. Oh, just wait. Right. <laughs> oh, just wait. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm waiting. All, All right. right. Family, well, um, y'all have a good night. Thank you. One love. Peace. Peace.